hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel thank you so much for being here so guys this is going to be yet another pick a card reading based it's pretty much just a love reading that we are doing here um i did post on my community if you guys have any other topics or options for a pick a card reading please let me know because i do want to start exploring uh new topics for you guys um finally <laughs> So go ahead and check that out if you haven't but five piles like always guys this is a love reading whether you are single you are taken in a situationship um, whatever the case is five piles pile one we have higher perspective pile two is the weaver pile three is speak truth Pile four is Reclaim. And last but not least, pile five is the Wildling. So you guys can choose more than one pile. Pause the video if you need to right here to uh, feel it out in order to choose the right cards or piles. We're going to go ahead and get started on pile one. All right, pile one, what is up? Thank you guys for being here. So you guys chose the card that states higher perspective. Now, right off the bat, I am getting for some of you, my pile ones, you guys may be in a period in your relationship situation or in your love life where you're really wanting to understand your partner better. You're wanting to understand um, your faults, your mistakes, or um, just trying to grasp on to some changes that may be happening in your love life here. And I do feel like now's the time to really uh, get a higher perspective like this card is stating, right? So this could literally be, once again, if you are in a relationship or not, to um, take some time off for yourself. I'm getting like go for a walk or something or go hang out with your friends, your girlfriends, your uh, guy friends, whatever the case is here because I really am feeling that the situation does need a little bit of distance. It does need you to uh, really reassess some things. And, um, you know, if you and your partner are fighting, I'm just really getting to look at your own. It takes two to tango, right? Now, let's see what else I'm getting from this. Yeah, I want to pull another card from this deck here. I'm also getting like uh, you and your partner could be having really meaningful talks at this time. Um, the eyes are really standing out to me. So I'm getting like very much one on one, very much. Um, maybe you guys are having serious talks. Maybe you guys are wanting serious talks um, from your partner right now. And they just may not be wanting to give you that. Or um, if this is someone new and you just don't know where the boundaries are right now with them, you don't know how they'll come across um, if you are wanting to deepen the connection. I'm just getting to not get upset with the person you are dealing with, but to... Um, what, what's, the, what's the saying that I'm looking for? Um... You know that saying, like, not everyone has the same heart as you? I'm not getting that scenario. I'm just getting more of a... Not everybody thinks the same. Not everybody's going to act the same um, as you, my group ones, okay? So we have Shadow. So I'm definitely getting either some insecurities... Um, whether you are single in a relationship, a situationship, I'm getting that there are some um, things that could be triggering you right now to where you may not be feeling your greatest with shadow. You could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Scorpio. Um, you guys could be a Capricorn or a Scorpio. 
and I'm getting connect to heart. So once again, here's that heart to heart conversations that want to come through. But I'm also getting someone maybe blocked off in regards to really expressing how they truly feel. Um, but once again, I'm getting like connect with family members, connect with close friends who can help you um, see things from different perspectives, right? Let's pull some of these cards. I'm getting for my singles. You guys may not be feeling all that. You may be feeling um, like seeing couples a lot and kind of just wanting that connection. Um, I'm really getting a message to not let your emotions get the best of you. I'm getting that your self-esteem at this time could be affecting you. Um, and I'm just getting like some negative self-talk here. I'm also getting that some of you guys could be self-medicating. So we have the Seven of Cups. So the Seven of Cups could talk about drinking. It could talk about drugs but also the seven of cups just talks about confusion it talks about mixed emotions it talks about uh the fog right things very unclear here i'm also getting that some of you guys could have options around you but i'm getting like some of these options i feel like don't have your best intentions at heart i'm getting that some of these options could be players and I'm just getting for some of you, once again, you are wanting that one-on-one -on -one connection. And I just feel like some of you guys just may not be having that with your partner. Therefore, your feelings could just be really jumbled up at this time here. We have the Four of Swords. I'm getting some of you guys could be using sex to... Um, trying to reel in your partner more with sex or just with your options around you just putting yourself out there um when deep down in reality you do want uh you do want that connection you do want that closeness here um some of you guys are coming out of a relationship But I'm getting with the Four of Swords, once again, that disconnect, that distance that does need to happen, that does need to play out here. And I'm just getting with time because there is a pretty huge clock on this card. So I'm getting um, timing, I'm getting patience, I'm getting the need for you to disconnect. And I feel like the answers will come. My uh, group threes, or my group threes, um, my group ones. Um, so group one, what I'm seeing for you that could be really beneficial for you at this time is to really just take a step back, um, have some time for you. I'm really getting like someone walking in a park. I want to pull one more card. And we have the ruler of coins. So I'm definitely getting Capricorn energy coming out here, especially with this shadow card. Um, but I am getting definitely give your partner space. Definitely give whoever you are wanting um, to closen your bond with. I'm really getting to give them time because this person is still invested in you with the king of pentacles. This person is, I'm really getting not someone very lovey-dovey. Um, but they are going to give you their time, they are going to give you their attention, or they are just going to do little things to let you know that they are still um, wanting to be near you. Now, I'm getting for others of you, there is somebody around you who may not be giving you what you want, but they could just be kind of keeping tabs on you. Therefore, with the mixed emotions, and I'm getting the uh, toxicity here. And I'm also getting for others of you, you are this king of pentacles, whether you are male or female. I feel like the message here is to really focus on building yourself up. I'm really getting like 
um, to focus on your career, focus on your money, focus on whatever it is that you are building. And something about character as well, something about status to really keep your uh, character um, intact. I feel like now's not the time to act out of character, um, my group ones, when it comes to uh, the emotions that your relationships may be giving you right now. Okay, and at the bottom of the deck, we do have the two of wands. So yeah, I'm getting here for my group ones. You guys are wanting something new. Um, it kind of feels like you guys are tired of like the old, the same old for some of you. And you're really wanting just newness. You're wanting passion. You want, you're wanting someone you could travel with, try new things with. And I'm also getting for some of you, there is a king of pentacles or just someone else who um, wants to take things to the next level with you. I'm just getting patience is needed at this time. So let's see. So we have door to spirit in the reverse. Yes, what I'm getting here is to not rush things. I'm really getting the more that you push forward, the more that you tell yourself one situation when it's not really it. Um, please avoid um, making up scenarios in your head with the seven of cups. Avoid um, pushing situations because I feel like your guides with door to spirit are trying to lead you in the right direction. I'm just getting impatience or just a difficulty seeing the light at this time, keeping positive at this time, maybe a bit difficult. We have door to romance, ooh. So I am seeing love, but I almost get like a slow passion um, from this card as well. It feels very romantic, right? Yeah, and we have it right underneath the ruler of coins. Um, group one, there could also be this male coming in who is a, the king of coins. Now, this could be some. They don't have to have a bunch of money. They don't have to have a bunch of status. I'm just getting that this could either be a earth sign or just someone who resembles the earthly qualities about them here. Um, they could be quite solid people within themselves, you know, they could have their own this, their own that, just be pretty settled. Um, I feel like this is someone chill. And for others of you, I feel like this is someone toxic. And then we have women holding a coin. Okay, so we have a couple here. Now, you guys don't have to be an earth sign couple, just whenever I see the king and the queen of pentacles, um, I get a situationship or a couple here that where two people are both invested in one another. Okay, it's like you guys are keeping tabs on one another. I'm also getting my group ones, the more that you focus on your work, your money, and building your own stability, um, the more that you focus on that material goods, I feel like you are going to attract more suitors to you. I'm also getting some of you guys could be really wanting to change your style right now or there's just something about you that is just gonna look um, quite attractive I'm not getting like Queen of Wands kind of status but I'm just getting like where people are just gonna sense a very stable energy with you a very reliable um, 
kind energy. We have imagine. So once again, refrain yourself from um, thinking just about situations that aren't even real. Um, please try to block yourself from telling yourself you're not good enough or just um, things of that nature. We have it right underneath shadow. I'm also getting manifesting wants to come through my group ones. I feel like in the love department, um, manifesting love is very potent for you right now. My group ones. So we have no place like home. So with no place like home in the reverse, this card is all about authenticity. But when it's in the reverse, it talks about don't be too eager to find home. Don't be too eager to find answers. Don't be too eager to rush into things here because I feel like that's where you can um, mess up. And we have it right underneath the Four of Swords. Once again, Four of Swords is all about patience and timing and planning. Um, some of you guys could be joining accounts with your partner, bank accounts. Some of you guys are wanting to buy homes with your partner. Some of you guys are just wanting to really discuss um, child support with one another. Whatever the case is here. I also want to say to stay true to you, be real when it comes to suitors and your love life. To be authentic is really wanting to come out. And let's pull one of these. Okay. So we have stop holding yourself to impossible standards. Yeah, then we have protect your positivity. So I'm really getting, um, some of you guys could be once again going through a breakup or you guys are just single right now and kind of just feeling like you're doing things wrong. And even if you guys are in a relationship, I'm getting that you guys could feel like you're having some doubts or you feel like something's going wrong here. But I feel like this is all made up in your head. I just feel like um, now's the time to focus on you um, give your partner time if you're noticing that they need it. Um, and I feel like to take it easy on you as well. Take it easy on yourself. Don't try to impress anybody. Don't try to um, show up as something that your that people around you... Sorry, I kind of got lost in the sauce right now. Like, don't try to pretend that you need to do this or do that in order to attract a partner, okay? I'm just really getting authenticity because I feel like it could really just be um, kind of dampening on your view of love. Okay, so let's pull some tarot. All right, so let's see my group ones. What's coming up for their love life? So we have the chariot. So there could be a cancer that is coming into your life. Maybe you guys are a cancer. I'm getting cancer, uh, Capricorn. They are opposites on the chart here. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm getting some of you guys like want to control the outcome. You want to control the destination. 
Once again, I'm also getting some of you guys are coming out of relationships. Some of you guys are getting over that person. I'm not really thinking completely getting over them, completely, you know, the relationship ended, you're feeling fine. No, I'm still getting feelings of um, like you did something wrong or just feelings of lingering in the past. But the chariot talks about overcoming those difficult situations. So whether you feel like this chariot or not, I'm just getting in your love life right now that there is definitely something that you are overcoming or closing out right now. My group ones. There could also be a Cancer who is wanting to definitely put in the work when it comes to this connection. Or this could just talk about you wanting to um, really just work on yourself and just come back better. Please excuse the noise. Then we have the page of wands. So I am seeing here there could be a Cancer who is a player. Um, beware of this Cancer. I'm also getting um, this Cancer energy actually could really be affecting your Venus sign. Or there's just something about Cancer season that we are in right now. Maybe you guys have like Venus in Cancer or something just in your chart with the stars and the planets right now could just really be helping you out. Um, but there's something happening for you. There's offers that are coming to you. There's new ideas and there's new um, kind of like epiphanies kind of where you're kind of just like, you know what? Screw this. Or you know what? I'm going to do whatever this is that I want to do. But with the Page of Wands, be careful of being too impulsive. Be careful of um, every action has a consequence, right? And the Page of Wands to me is also someone who starts something but doesn't finish it. So let's pull one more card here. See, love reading for my group ones. And we have the Magician. So we also have Gemini energy coming in. What was I saying about manifesting is very potent for you right now the magician's all about manifesting it's all about feeling confident it's all about wanting to it's like getting your mojo back is pretty much what i get from the magician um and once again i'm getting like with your options around you please be aware of them trying to pull one over you um if you notice yourself doing this I'm really getting to reflect why um, that is, okay? But the signs we have here is Capricorn, uh, Cancer, and a Gemini. So group one, that is all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please just give this video a like as it does help my channel. And I'm going to move on to group two. Thanks, group one. Hey group two, welcome to your reading. Thank you guys for being here. So group two, you guys chose the card that is the Weaver. So the Weaver is a card all about knowing what strings to cut out of our lives and knowing what strings to tend to. It talks about, um, you know, roll with the analogy here, but the threads of our lives that connect with one another. So, um, group two, I'm getting the ball is in your court at this time. I'm really feeling like some of you guys are kind of just at this point where you're not wanting to play anymore. You're not wanting to feel sad anymore. You're not wanting to kind of do things the same. And I'm just getting at this point as well as my group twos. This doesn't really pertain I feel like majority actually does pertain to your love life, but just could also be for general as well. I'm really seeing you very sharp at this time with the weaver. There could be some people that you are dealing with to where you kind of see their intentions towards you. You kind of see... Um, 
how they act when they're around you, when they're around different people, or just when it benefits them. Maybe somebody or something's not benefiting you. But I'm just getting at this time, my group twos, you are really starting to see in regards to love, who is there for you, who is really helping you, who is um, good for you, and who is not. And if you don't feel this way, then I'm just getting that in regards to love, either your partner or your options around you or just people that you're really thinking about from the past um, are really going to start showing you signs um, of how they're treating you, maybe in regards to how you're treating them. Okay, so this could be signs that are very impactful or this could just be little signs that you are barely starting to notice at this time and it has to do with if they're if they're healthy for you or not i feel like this is a period of learning in your relationships right now or learning about yourself when it comes to love my group twos and we have the sage so the sage in this card is pretty much like my hierophant card there could be a relationship that you are wanting to deepen at this time or this could be somebody else who's feeling this way towards you this could literally be marriage this could just be um, somebody wanting to deepen the connection. I'm getting some of you guys are wanting to renew your vows as well. There could be a Taurus in your life. Maybe you are a Taurus. Um, but the sage is the wise leader. Um, there's wisdom teeth in this card. Uh, the wisdom teeth do say, signify wisdom. So I'm really getting like, you guys are going to come to this point where you're you're kind of just really going to reflect about the person or people you're dealing with my group twos i feel like some of you guys are severing love connections because they do not serve you anymore And I'm also getting for others of you, you are getting into relationships at this time. But it's like you're really thinking about the partners that you're choosing wisely. My group two. And if you're single, I'm just getting here that um, there's a lot of learning. Maybe your perspectives and your views are changing about love with the sage here. So let's see, my group twos. All right, we have a card flying right out. And we have the moon card. Ooh, so the moon card is ruled by Pisces. It is also ruled by Cancer. The moon card could talk about fears. It could talk about the unknown. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like this has to do with Cancer energy with the moon card here to where um, Cancer energy, I feel like low key are very much people who like to win. Um, you know, it's very triumphant. It's very victorious. Now, in a negative sense, it does talk about stepping on people's toes, right? 
but I'm just getting like there there's a feeling my group twos to where you're kind of just in this period of wanting to do better for yourself wanting to make better decisions when it does come to your love life here and it's like if you want something and somebody's not on the same level as you or somebody does not want to talk things out or just reciprocate the same energy I feel like you're in a period of no longer wanting to uh, lower your standards we have the eight of swords okay and i'm also getting for others of you um there are some fears when it does come to some connections you may be at a bit of a crossroads um when it comes to um you and your partner at this time I feel like there's some hesitation when it comes to opening up and I feel like there may be delays in doing so because I do see you guys very much stuck in your heads, very much um, obsessing over the situation a little bit. There could also be something hidden. There could be some lies. There could be some secrets that you're wanting your partner to spill or maybe that's coming from you. Also, there could be a new relationship that's happening, but I'm getting that some of you guys may have some fears in regards to how things should go. I'm really getting like a sub, it's subconscious behavior that's panning out here. Okay, that's too many cards. We have the ruler of coins coming out. So we have, a, I'm getting a strong Taurus you could be dealing with. Let's see my group two. My group two. What is happening in their love life? What's going on for their love life? And we have the wheel of fortune. Ooh. So the Wheel of Fortune can represent good luck. It represents changes as well. It's a card also about learning. But um, group two, I'm seeing that there could be something new happening in your relationship that looks very positive. I'm just getting either you or the other person. There's some hesitation. There's some um, regrets or there's just something that needs to come to light. But I'm getting there's someone here who's hesitant to speak their truth. Someone who's hesitant to open up. And we have strength. So this is a test of strength. This is a test of either you or your other person or the both of you guys maybe um, being real with one another. Holding it down. Um, you could also be dealing with a Leo. And once again, I'm also getting... Some of you guys do know that there is some drama, deceit going on in a connection here. And I'm just getting you guys are in a period of just wanting to cut it out. Wanting to let go. Really learning from your mistakes. And just applying your wisdom with the Sage card. And I feel like if you do so, my group twos, with the Wheel of Fortune here, you will be granted um, some good stuff. I feel like good karma is on your side if you do the right thing.
let's pull some cards. Let's pull some oracle cards. So we have appreciation. Yeah, so um, my group two is now's the time to really um, take a step back a little bit and just look at what you have. Look at you and your partner and look at what they're offering. Look at what you're offering. And I feel like now is just a time of gratitude. Now's the time to be thankful of where and how long you and your partner have been in this connection with one another. Also, if you guys are single, I'm just getting to be appreciative of the people you have had in your life. Um, and I'm also getting for some of you, in this case, uh, they were learning lessons, right? I'm also getting um, that you guys are going to be very much appreciative, pre appreciated by your partner at this time. And for my singles, I'm just getting once again that you're gonna feel very appreciative of uh, the struggles you have overcame. The world card in the reverse. Yeah, I feel like there's some kind of issue here when it comes to you and your partner or when it comes to um, just some past connections where there's something that's um not completely done because the world card to me is all about yes new cycles coming in but it talks about those lessons not being fully learned yet not being fully integrated therefore repeating in a different cycle this new cycle so there may be this situation that's coming up between you guys where i feel like you guys need to address the elephant in the room or you just need to address um just something that you've been wanting to get off your chest and i'm also getting there's going to be a situation that kind of like a past problem that's kind of going to repeat itself in a different way my group twos I'm also getting there may be somebody who's coming back from the past. I feel like this person is really starting to like see you in a different light. They're really starting to appreciate you for who you are. And I feel like this person does have their regrets. blessed I love this card I love this card because um, from my experience it talks about being in the right it talks about like you you did nothing wrong um, but once again I am also seeing my group two is that good fortune um, excuse me good fortune is on your side blessed talks about blessings And if you guys feel a bit guilty about doing what's best for you, if you feel guilty about leaving a partner or leaving just a situationship where you're kind of just like, am I doing the right thing with leaving? Am I doing the right thing with moving forward with this connection? I feel like you are. Building blocks. Building blocks is all about um, building yourself up, literally, right? It talks about learning lessons and integrating them, therefore creating a solid structure from trial and error. 
So I feel like this um, has to do I feel like the fears have to do with about opening up with your partner about stability with one another, where knowing where you guys stand. I'm also getting some of you guys have like plans that you want to execute with your partner. And I'm seeing a lot of you guys single at this time as well. I'm seeing you really just focus on you. We have protect your positivity. Get it off your chest if you need to. I'm also getting, once again, cut out those people if you need to with protect your positivity. Put yourself first. All right, let's pull some tarot. We have the seven of cups in the reverse. So with this card being in the reverse, once again, things are gonna be made very clear at this time for you. I feel like the veil is lifting, the smoke and mirrors are lifting at this time. And I just kind of feel like you're gonna know what you, you know what you're gonna do. And I'm also getting that some of you guys are just finally gonna realize that you can't keep putting whatever this is off with your partner. Six of Pentacles in the reverse. And then we have the Hermit and the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Both of these cards are number nines. Nines are all about independence. It's all about also tying up loose ends. So I feel like something's wrapping up here. Something is finally closing out. And these are also both very single cards. Um, a lot of you guys are leaving situationships, leaving relationships. Some of you guys are finally like coming to epiphanies and realizations about some past connections and I'm just getting um, for others of you in relationships it's like you don't want to depend on your partner anymore or you're not wanting to there's something in regards to like leaning on them so much I'm getting with the hermit you're really wanting your time alone you're wanting your independence back and for others of you I'm really getting there could be a third party something to do with the Virgo as well The Hermit is all about exploring new opportunities. And it's so funny that we have it under the moon because, you know, the Hermit's traveling through the dark. It's all about traveling through unknown territory. So I feel like now's not the time to be scared to um, leave that person behind or to um, bring up that situation you wanted to, okay? So my group twos, that is all I have for you guys. I hope this resonated. Please like um, as it does help my channel and comment. Um, and yeah, thank you so much. I'm going to move on to group three. Bye. Hey, group three. Welcome to your reading. Thank you guys for being here. So group three, you guys chose the card that states speak truth. Let's see, love reading, speak truth. So, you know, I feel like this is very self-explanatory here. I'm really getting that some of you guys could really be coming into epiphanies 
uh, during this time, epiphanies when it comes to maybe some past relationships, maybe some situations or situationships, excuse me, or relationships that you are in now. I'm getting that talks do need to happen. I'm really getting a sense, my group threes, that you guys are going to be feeling like you need to um, really explain yourself, explain how you're feeling with your partner. I feel like during this time, um, there are going to be deep talks happening. There are going to be talks about boundaries. There are going to be talks about plans. Um, people are going to want answers, and I feel like you are going to want answers at this time. You're going to want to make things clear. Hey, where do we stand? Where are we going? Um, and you're just going to be wanting the truth, and I feel like you are going to receive it, okay? Um, I'm also getting cutting out. Some of you guys could be calling quits on relationships. Some of you guys are um, just cutting out people. That's it. No communication. Just being true to yourself. And for others of you, like I said, I'm really getting that. You guys are going to know where you stand when it comes to your connections. Um, and there are going to be some talks. Air sign energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Please excuse the background noise. People are lighting off fireworks. So let's see my group three. My group threes. My group threes. So for your love life, we have <clears throat> nature. Yeah, this energy feels very real. It feels very real. And at the bottom of the deck, we have compassion. So I'm also getting now's a time where you're going to feel like you want that compassion from your partner or just for some from some people in your life. I also want to say have compassion for those around you as well. Um, I definitely do get a sense with nature here. You guys are going to want a break. There could be some people around you as well who could be expressing that they do want a break. Um, but I'm just getting, once again, my group threes. Now is the time to be very honest with yourself, very honest with your partner. And if they're wanting an answer from you to just be as honest as possible. I'm also getting there could be some humiliation that does happen uh, with you and your partner as well. Nature talks about getting grounded. It talks about taking some time out for yourself. So we have air and earth energy coming out. We have the two of wands okay beautiful the two of wands is such a good card to get because it talks about um passion it talks about new energy coming in and for some of you i'm really seeing there could be somebody that you have been talking to um that is 
on the same page as you, okay? I'm seeing attraction. I'm seeing you guys really get along with one another. I'm seeing cute dates. I'm seeing romantic dates. But I'm especially seeing this after some communication happens. After just... Um, either that or some epiphany happens. And I'm really seeing it bring you guys closer to one another. Which looks pretty awesome to me. Some of you guys may also um, like start planning to travel with one another, start tra um, planning um, more dates. Now's the time to really ask your partner for those things that you want and to be receptive when they when the tables are turned as well. Meaning like if, if they ask you for things that they they would like. And for my singles, I'm really getting that now's the time. If, if you're wanting love and you can't seem to find it, I'm getting with the two of wands. Now's the time to explore your possibilities. Some of you guys are going to meet someone while you travel or this could be the sign to really get out there and just put yourself out there explore your opportunities um i'm getting the internet as well but i'm also getting from my singles um don't be too eager to find it i mean like put yourself in the energy of attracting it um and don't hold your expectations too high. Because I feel like if you do, there's going to be some kind of control here. And we have the Five of Wands. Ooh, so the Five of Wands talks about conflict. It talks about pettiness. It talks about internal struggle as well. So I'm really getting here that, you know, with the talks that do happen between you guys, I am seeing some frustration. I am seeing some jealousy. I am seeing some, um, well, you did this to me. You did that. Um, back and forth banter but I'm really getting if you guys are able to work through it I'm really seeing um, you guys come together closely and I'm also getting for others of you you are cutting out some people in your life you are ending connections and I'm seeing that um, the passion just may have been lost within you guys and I feel like after that burnout I'm really getting with nature. Now's the time to really ground yourself, to really nurture yourself, to get back to you. And I'm seeing there could be some feelings of resentment, some feelings of anger. There could be um, old partners that could be feeling like this towards you, or even if you guys are still in a connection and there's just some kind of disconnect or just some talks that happen or need to happen. I'm seeing a bit of tension. Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands is all about drawing boundaries. Speaking up. Yeah, people are most definitely going to be in their feelings. People are most definitely going to be feeling like um, some things aren't fair. Now's the time to have compassion. To come into the situation with grounding with nature. Or even if problems do arise, ground yourself. I'm also feeling like you and your partner may feel like there's some competition going on with one another. Um, they may feel like um, there could be some jealousy going on as well.
Now's the time to diffuse any fights, to diffuse any arguments. Anxiety in the reverse. And to release the anxiety, release the fear. Release the fear of what may happen or what they may think. I know it's easier said than done, but I'm getting that this situation could just very much be in your head obsessing over it or this uh or the other person could be in this energy as well the world card reverse so the world card reverse to me talks about issues that have not been resolved yes it talks about cycles ending but i'm getting here that some of you guys may have a talk right i know i keep on saying that where i feel like someone's gonna say something the other person's not gonna like it i'm getting tension between both of you guys that may result in an ending but i don't really see things being resolved i'm seeing a lot of ego come through And for others of you, once again, I feel like um, after you guys have this talk, it, it looks good. I do see that the anxiety is going to fade away here with the with this card in the reverse. And I do see the cycle ending. I'm getting someone here could be like, let me see your messages. Let me see your phone. Let me see um, your DMs. We have to the sea. So trust that things will get better. Trust that things will get better with uh, to the sea. This, I really love this card because it talks about being taken to a place um, that is much better. Uh, to look forward to that and i'm also seeing here that you know you could be or your partner's just wanting to move this connection move this relationship into calmer waters here yang yeah take action and i do see action happening here when it comes to um, the love department for you if you guys chose this my group threes I see change happening I'm seeing people speak up I'm seeing um, action happening therefore causing change and for some of you it's in a positive way and for others of you I'm seeing that it's just gonna cause a bit more friction but therefore you will know um, if this person is for you or not Flexible. So also now the time once again to have compassion, be flexible, don't be too rigid when it comes to um, hearing your partner out or um, how they're acting. If it doesn't make you happy, talk to them. Let's pull some of these. Let's pull one of these actually. My group threes, love reading my group threes, love reading. Love reading for group threes. So we have direction is more important than speed. I love it, I love it. So this card is all about having a plan. It talks about um, making sure the foundation is firm, right? It talks about not rushing into things. I am seeing for some of you, there is a burnout when it comes to this connection.
And let's pull some tarot. I'm getting some of you guys could be wanting kids. So we have the Ace of Wands. So both of these cards speak of newness. It talks about change. It talks about um, Whatever outcome, whether it's positive or it's a negative, I feel like there's something's going to happen in your connection that is going to ignite this change. Something's not going to be the same as before. I'm also getting uh, from my singles, there is going to be an opportunity that comes towards you. And I feel like some of you guys could actually be initiating it. Like you could be the ones messaging this person or asking them out or wanting to take things to the next level. Ace of Cups. Yeah, I'm seeing love offers. I'm seeing new opportunities. I'm seeing new cycles when it comes to your relationships. I'm also seeing some self-love that needs to happen here. Um, I'm getting that this new opportunity is going to lead you back to yourself to fill your own cup. I love the opportunities. I love it. Yeah, I'm getting, for some of you as well, you are leaving behind a connection that you are done with, but I'm also seeing there's something new that's going to come in for you as well. The Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Knight of Pentacles Reverse talks about feeling a bit unstable, feeling a bit insecure as well. So I am getting there could be some insecurity that does um, come out in your love life. King of Wands. So I am seeing there could be a fire sign who is coming forward. This person does have their eye on you. Okay, and I'm definitely getting, yeah, for some of you, you may be coming out of a connection or you guys just may be still a bit hung up when it comes to past connections or just not feeling yourself lately. But I see there is a fire sign who is attracted to you. This person does want to um, make a move towards you, but I'm getting that you guys just may not be seeing that yet or you guys are just... Um, not really taking up the offer you're just not feeling confident for my males this could also be females as well king of wands is an energy but i'm seeing you guys look very attractive at this time i'm seeing you guys you know the king of wands to me is an initiator of change this is someone who wants to shake things up this is someone who wants new and with you guys being in this energy Newness is granted. So my group threes, that is all I have for you guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe as this does help my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'm going to move on to group four. Hello my group fours, welcome to your reading. Thank you guys for being here. So group four, let's hop right in it. You guys chose the card that states reclaim. All my decks you can find down below in my description box, by the way. Um, so let's see. I mean, pretty self-explanatory, right? I'm getting independence. I'm getting back in the driver's seat. Okay, so yeah, my group four is I'm just getting that 
You guys may be feeling at this time where you are wanting to take control of your relationships. Now, I'm not getting that. For some of you, I'm not getting that you know your partner is like holding you down, they're holding you hostage. No, I'm just getting that you guys just may be wanting to find yourselves again. You're wanting to um, get back to things that you used to do. You're wanting to find the passion again in your connections. Um, and for others of you, I'm really getting during this time for cancer season or whenever you're watching that you're really just going to want to kind of just switch it up. You're going to want to not be sad anymore. You're going to not want to be the same person that you were before. I'm getting like some of you guys may be getting a haircut. Some of you guys just may be changing your clothes or whatever the case is here. I'm just seeing that you guys are getting back to you with Reclaim. I'm also getting after a period. Um, some of you guys could have been going through a breakup or just thinking about a past uh, relationship. I'm getting during this time, uh, for those of you, it's like you're gonna, your mojo's gonna come back. And then we have destruction. Ooh. So I always get Scorpio vibes from this destruction card. You guys could also be an Aries. But I'm seeing that a lot of you guys are just going to want to set fire um, to some things. Maybe set fire to a connection. If you guys are in a connection, I'm getting here. You guys may be having talks with one another. You guys may be engaging in a talk. Maybe this could be a move. Maybe this could be um, telling your partner, hey, I don't want to be doing this anymore. I think we should be doing this. Um, there's definitely going to be some kind of change when it comes to your connection. And I feel like it's going to spark some more passion, okay? Um, and for others of you, like I said, I am seeing there is a crumbling of a connection going on. A connection that could have been holding you down. Yeah, um, what's definitely sticking out to me are the dark colors, so like the the blacks and the deep purples and the deep pinks and the deep reds. So I'm getting like, when it comes to your connections, your relationships, you may felt like, you, you know, things were kind of just the energy was low. You could have felt like everything was very routine. Um, there was no passion happening. Um, but I'm getting that either you're going to start realizing that you want something different or that you're going to start initiating uh, that talk with your partner that you want to switch things up or you guys are actually just going to start doing it. We have the five of wands. So the five of wands talks about conflict. It talks about competition. It talks about internal struggles as well. I'm seeing for those of you that are leaving a connection, I'm getting there once again, could have been jealousy or you guys just were not seeing eye to eye with one another. There could have been, um, some verbal arguments. I'm even getting there could have been some physical altercations that have occurred. But I'm also getting with the five of wands that this, whatever this is that is urging you to spice things up now, 
um, could have really been bothering you. I felt like um, this bottled up emotion, just not knowing how to express it or what it was, you could have just been like uh, spewing with your partner. I'm getting like, you know, there could have been a lot of drama between you and your partner. This could be happening right now as well, or this could be what's coming and, you know, there could be some kind of argument that you guys have, but I feel like it's because there's some kind of energy that's like outdated, that's kind of just like, I'm getting a, an image of needing to open up the window and let the, the bad energy out, okay? Because I feel like you guys could be taking it out on one another. And I'm also getting some of you guys could be scared to bring this up to your partner. Some of you guys could be a bit scared of what if I say this or I do this, um, like what's going to happen. The full card. The full card is all about taking chances. Taking a leap of faith. Yeah, I'm really seeing you guys just wanting to just dip out. And here's that en Aries energy I was speaking of too. You guys could be an er Aries. You guys could be dealing with an Aries. And the Hermit. And we also have a Virgo. So the Hermit is a very independent energy. It's it's an energy of wanting to explore new territory. It's a card about wanting to go about things alone. Definitely an explorative energy coming through here. So you and your partner could be, I'm really getting for some of you reigniting some passion. So I'm getting like trying new things in the bedroom, maybe buying more lingerie. Um, I'm also getting travel. And then we have the Sovereign of Swords. So the Sovereign of Swords is the Queen of Swords. But yeah, if you guys are in connections, I'm really getting like your independence is important to you. And with the Queen of Swords, I feel like it's very key for you to really um, make your partner understand that you need that independence. I just feel like communication is key when it comes to whatever is going on in your connections right now. I'm getting that there's an urge from you that is wanting that independence. Your, part, your partner could be feeling like you're drifting away. They could be accusing you of talking to other people. I'm seeing you're wanting to take a time out. So let's see, let's see. My pile fours. What do we got for love? What do we got for love? So we have caring connections. Cute. So I'm definitely seeing for some of you, your bond will deepen. Um, because of this, because you guys talked it out, or because some kind of changes do occur here. 
but I'm also getting, um, like, what's that saying where two independent people come together and things just work out? I'm really getting that. I'm getting that the connection's going to be fire. I'm really seeing romance. I'm seeing love. I'm seeing dedication, loyalty. I'm even seeing them, like, gift you, like, little things. It could be even flowers or them just taking you on nice dates and let them letting you know that they care about you, whether it's verbal or whether it's in the things that they do. But I feel like your partner is just really going to appreciate you and have respect for you in regards to whatever it is you express to them or just if you're doing things on your own right now, you're finding your, yourself. The thinking woman. So the queen of swords wants to come through again. I'm just getting communication is key with the thinking woman in the reverse. Appreciation, yeah. I definitely do feel like there is going to be appreciation uh, that you're definitely going to feel from your partner here. So let's see let's see so we have the tribe this card is all about knowing when to lead and knowing when to follow and to just know in general that your partner is your people and if you guys are going through a separation right now then this card talks about that trust that you will find your tribe trust that you will find the right people that resonate with you and this could also be lean on your family, lean on your friends, uh, join groups that help you, um, things of that nature here. So once again, there could be some tension that does need talking. Um, you could kind of want to rebel from your partner a little bit is also what I'm getting. But I'm just getting that there needs to be a equal dance that's going on know when to lead and know when to follow um yes i'm also getting for my singles i am seeing that you guys are wanting to explore your opportunities and I am seeing you guys actually put yourselves out there. And if not, now's the time to do so because I do see that you guys could get a bit lucky. Um, I am seeing a fling happen. I don't really see this connection moving into something super solid, if I'm being honest. But I am definitely getting that there could be some romance or just somebody new that sparks your interest here. And I'm seeing that for both sides. There could be an Aries who is going after a Virgo. Message in a bottle, yes. So I'm seeing ser service. Um, I'm seeing text messages. I'm seeing emails. I'm seeing DMs coming through. This card is all about good news. I'm saying there could be an air sign woman who comes forward and who messages you, who is interested in you.
Let's pull one of these. Stop holding yourself to impossible standards. And then we have what you think of yourself is much more important than what other people think about you. So I want to go ahead and pull some tarot. I'm also getting some of you guys may think that your partner is holding you back or you may think um, there's there's like an energy of wanting to rebel a little bit, wanting your independence, but I feel like that's kind of just a little bit in your head because I do see that your partner does appreciate you. So I feel like with stop holding yourself to impossible standards, I'm getting here that um, like that's not true. For some of you. And I'm also getting for some of you, your partner is asking for a lot. Your partner is um, wanting a lot out of you. And I'm seeing that you guys are kind of just going to let them know how it is. So we have the Empress in the reverse. I'm seeing that some of you guys um, have been trying for kids and I'm seeing that you guys just could be infertile at this time. Like if you guys are trying and nothing's happening, I just feel like now's not the season or I'm getting that there's some fertility issues or just right now. Um, for some reason, I just feel like now is not the time to plan for a pregnancy. Um, do whatever you want. This is not advice. You know, I just see the Empress in the reverse. Do what you want. Talk to a professional, right? Um, and with the Empress in the reverse, I'm getting that there could be a little bit of self-love here. Or I'm also getting that you just may be not giving as much to your partner. Let's see. My group four is what's happening in their love life for group fours. We have the King of Pentacles. So I'm getting some kind of self-worth issues. I'm getting that you may feel a bit unstable when it comes to your connection, when it comes to drawing boundaries, when it comes to understanding one another of like how you're feeling, what you're thinking. I'm getting a Virgo male. There could also be some issues with a mother figure. And we have justice in the Ten of Cups. My battery is about to die. But I'm also seeing like a happy marriage or I'm seeing some things end with a Libra. Some things end on a good term. Or something to do with the court here. Where I'm seeing that there is going to be something that's resolved in quite a positive way. I do see karma. I see I see a happy ending to be honest. So my camera is blinking red. Group 4, I hope this resonated. Please like, comment and subscribe as this does help my channel. 
Thank you guys so much, and I'm gonna move on to group five. Hey, group five, last but not least, we made it to your pile, so let's go ahead and see what love has in store for you. So the card that you guys chose is the Wildling. Now the Wildling to me is a very rebe rebellious card. Um, I kind of almost forgot what the meaning of this card means, but something along the lines, once again, of being rebellious and kind of just knowing that you are the one in control of your destiny, um, in control of your own decisions, very confident. I, I feel good things with this card, my group five, when it comes to your um, love life here. I get good things. You could be at a point right now in your connections, in this situationship, or in your single life where you're really just wanting to claim your independence. You're wanting to find your independence again. You're wanting to really just um, build yourself up for the ideal p person that you want to come into your life. We actually have two cards here. So we have play and we have get wild. So these cards are very similar alike and I think it's cool that they both came out together. Um, play and get wild. I'm definitely seeing um, you and your partner or whoever you're dating um, kind of get spicy. I'm definitely seeing the bedroom finally spice up. Maybe it's your guys' first time. Maybe you guys are just trying new things here. Um, or this could be finally your guys' first time. Um, and if not, if there's nothing in the lines in regards to getting intimate with one another, I'm just seeing that you guys, I'm seeing more flirtatious, fun energy. I'm seeing lighthearted energy. I'm just seeing whoever you're going to meet or you're dealing with right now, it looks very fun. It looks like you guys, um, have great chemistry, my group fives. Like I'm seeing laughing going on. I'm just seeing great compatibility. I'm seeing like fun nights. I'm seeing fun dinners. Okay. Yeah, I'm seeing someone very lighthearted come into your life if you are single or if you are um, just barely seeing someone right now. This person seems very fun, very lighthearted. I'm also seeing a lot of sexual chemistry, a lot of flirtatious energy. Let's see my group fives. What is in store for my group fives? What is in store for my group fives? Oh, okay. So we have the conqueror of coins. I love it. I love it. I love the knight of coins when it comes to a love reading because this is someone who um is someone solid this is someone that you want in regards to relationship materials there is someone who is moving very slowly towards you and i feel like they are testing out the waters they're testing out the ground they're making sure that wherever they're headed there's going to be some kind of not only connection but just making sure that this is going to be reliable solid 
grounding, something that's going to offer them long-term stability, long-term benefits here. And this person is very intrigued by you and I feel like they just want to take things very seriously. This could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn or this could be you. But I'm also getting that you guys could be treading very lightly as well. You're wanting um, only connections that, yes, are lively and fun, but are mature, that are grounding, that are um, reliable relationship material. My group fives, what is in store for their love life? So, ooh, we have the ace of coins. Yeah, I'm seeing something being offered to you. Um, if you're single, I'm seeing an opportunity come by and this opportunity looks like something pretty promising. Um, I'm also seeing if you are dating this person, if you are in a relationship, you guys could be getting your uh, vows renewed. I'm seeing a new, um, like you guys could be traveling somewhere, doing something fun that's just going to be relaxing for the both of you. I also want to say that some of you guys may be exploring new parts of each other with your partner. But I love the Ace of Coins because, you know, and we have it right next to the Knight of Pentacles. So this looks very promising. This does look like a stable relationship that is coming your way. And I do see an offer. This could be to get married. This could be to be um, in a more committed, serious relationship. And if this is somebody you have been dating with for a while, it's definitely paying off. I'm most definitely seeing a proposal happening here as well. And then we have the Eight of Swords. So I'm getting here, this person may be definitely in their heads, or you guys could be most definitely in your heads, freaking out about, is this relationship going to work? Or what is this person thinking? Maybe they're thinking this about you. But I'm getting there's a lot of anxiety and a lot of stuff being made up in your head or their head here. But just from what I see, it looks pretty good. I feel like it's almost like a too good to be true or, um, you know, just some fears really that are coming through here that I do see. Wow. And then we have the Nine of Cups. So I'm definitely seeing really good things, really good energy come into your connection, uh, my group fives. It looks great. So let's pull some oracle cards. So I'm seeing angel of love being in the reverse. Some of you guys could have some issues with the mother figure. Maybe you guys are a mother. I'm getting here. Maybe you guys are having a talk about quite possibly wanting kids, wanting another kid here. I'm also getting now is not the good time to try for a pregnancy. I'm just getting that I don't really see you very fertile at this time. Um... And I'm also getting there could be some fears um, in regards to this connection because I'm getting here that things look good, but I'm also but I'm getting a feeling like someone feels like it's too good to be true or maybe things are gonna fall apart or whatever the case is. I also want to say be aware of being too giving to your partner, like Make some space for yourself, make some space for them. 
Don't be too codependent on them is what I want to say. And we have the world card in the reverse. So I think this card came up like four out of the five readings all in the reverse. Yeah, and we have anxiety reverse. So I'm definitely seeing a period of stress, a period of obsessing over something in regards to the connection. I'm seeing that be done here, but with the world card being in the reverse, I'm not seeing it completely go away. I'm seeing that this may be a lingering feeling that carries on. I'm getting fears about ending things. Okay. So let's see, my group fives, what's in store for their love life? What's in store for love? What's their love reading? So we have a change in the wind. So you may feel like things are kind of up in the air. It's like even though some things may be going good in your connection or just good with the single life or good with the situationship, I'm getting that there could be some fears that things could fall apart or that maybe you guys have not had a talk with one another about where you stand. But I just want to say like with a change in the wind here with this card to kind of just be accepting of it. Trust that the chips are falling where they may. Exchanging gifts. So with this card, I want to say group five to remember that you are a gift, to remember to not stretch yourself too thin. For people, exchanging gifts talks about an equal balance between give and take. So that really wants to come out here as well. Make sure that you are receiving as well. Make sure everything is equal when it comes to the both of you here. And there's also a cat that's showing up. So the cat to me just resembles independence. So make sure that you are um, taking care of your own. You are not being, once again, too codependent on this person. I'm also getting another scenario for you guys to where you guys may be walking away from a connection I'm seeing here with the Knight of Pentacles, you're not really wanting a fling, you're not really wanting something that's just, uh, where it's just passion. And I'm seeing that, you know, with the change in the wind, it's like you don't know where you're going at this time, you don't know what's to come. And I'm seeing here that, like, you may feel like you... Like your so I want to I kind of want to say your self esteem may not be feeling the greatest at this time. And I'm seeing that you could still be stuck in the past as well, but I'm also seeing you kind of just moving on doing your own thing. So let's see, let's see. Let's see, let's see. My group fives. What's in store for love for them? What's in store for love? So we have be more of who you are.
once again, I'm getting very much an energy to just focus on you at this time. Do things for you. Don't sway your morals for another person. Don't sway your decisions for another person. We have the Ten of Cups in the reverse. I'm really seeing that some of you guys are finally starting to um, see the realization of past connections or this connection that you are dealing with. You're starting to see um, behind the smoke and mirrors. The illusion is gone. And I'm just seeing you guys could feel a bit unhappy here. And then we have the Wheel of Fortune being in the reverse so the wheel of fortune talks about change but when it's in the reverse it, it speaks more of the lessons it speaks more of karma happening here and i am seeing you know if this is something new and everything's looking pretty good i'm just getting that there could be like some fears that once again you are having in regards to this connection and i feel like it's going to manifest into just um, being in your head a lot more and just not being able to enjoy what you have in front of you here. Eight of Pentacles, work on yourself. Whether you are single, whether you are in a connection, I'm really just getting the message to work on yourself, work on your independence work on your career, work on your self-love. And I'm getting this connection is going to need a lot of work from both parties. All right. So my camera time is going to die at 18 minutes. I'm at 17.20. So group five. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if this did resonate. And it does help my channel as well. Thank you guys so much. And I will see you in my next reading.